Hey guys, so I just got back from Wales about two hours ago, less than two hours ago, um, and that's it, so I'm home from Wales, uh, yesterday we went to, first of all went to Cardiff because we did some shopping in Primark, um, and then after that we went to Barry, um, to, we went to Nessa Slots, if you don't know Gavin Stacey, go watch it, I suggest. Um, we went to Cardiff, then Barry, and then on Monday we went to Newport to meet some friends, we went out for dinner, um, and yeah, we just did basically just a lot of shopping is all we did this week. So yeah, we stayed in Wales for three days. When I say we, I mean me and my mum. We stayed in Wales for three days, um, bought a lot of stuff and not much else really. Um, so today I'm just going to show you everything that I bought from Primark, um, Beauty Outlet. Uh, B and M, Home Bargains. Uh, where else did I go? Oh, um, Hyper Extra. I don't know what that is, but I went there as well apparently. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you everything I bought from there basically. <laughs> it's gonna be a long video. Just warning you now. The order. I'm just gonna show you everything I bought. So today we went to B and M. And, for, oh gosh, falling over. From there, I bought a few things. Um, also, I just want to say, I won't be able to remember all the prices, but I will try my best. Receipts. I think I left my purse downstairs. Um, but if I can find the prices, I'll put them up on the screen as I show you the stuff. But the first thing I bought um, was Rimmel eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. It's the Scandalize uh, something, Scandalize liquid eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner. Um, it's the Scandalize thick and thin eyeliner. Oh, nice. So it looks like that oh okay that is nice you can get a really thin line also have a really thick line so that's nice yeah and then also from B&M I just want to say I've been getting really into slime recently I've actually got a bit of slime up there um, so I bought a big tub of it. <laughs> uh, I bought this. This is glowing slime. I don't know like the brand, but it's just glowing slime. I think it's glow in the dark. And uh, it just looks like this. It's quite a thick slime. Oh gosh. So yeah. Just looks like that. It's a very thick slime. Like you can't really stretch it or anything. It's more of a you poke it slime. <laughs> and then for a while I've been needing some nail scissors for my eyebrow because this part of my eyebrow grows like really long and I have to cut it because obviously I can't pluck it because it's just the hair's growing, so I just bought some nail scissors. Uh, these were a pound. Because they say it on there. So I bought those. I then bought a cosmetic brush pot for my brushes. It is copper, and I thought it would just look nice on my desk over there, where my makeup is. So yeah. Bought one of those bad boys. And then for a while 
I have been looking for my Tangle teaser because I know I have one, but I have absolutely no idea where it is. So I bought a new one. It looks like this. It's got a little cover thing on it. Um, it seems like a nice one. Like it's it's pretty alright, really. It's it's a Tangle teaser, but um, yeah, it seems good. So that's that. And. The next thing I bought were some batteries, this is a pack of 20 and I bought these for my um, my like night light thing that I have, well it's not an actual night light, it's a mini mouse light but it's the same thing. Um, so I just bought a load of batteries for that because they run out quite quick. And then I went into the beauty outlet in... Uh, oh, Swindon. We also went to Swindon. Um, I went to the beauty outlet there in the big Swindon outlet, Swindon sign outlets. Um, and I bought three face masks. These were the ones I actually tested in a video not that long ago. Um, these are the W7 Hydrate 3D sheet masks. Um, and I bought three of the same. These are the Hydrate ones. I bought three of the same just because I found that I was allergic to quite a few of them. I have really sensitive skin, so I bought three of the same because I know that I'm not allergic to these ones. Also from the beauty outlet, I bought three of these makeup wipes. Um, they came in a set, and these, I remember these were £5. Um, these are the... Athena Beauty Age Confident Facial Cleansing Wipes and they are enriched with vitamin A and E. Um, so I just bought a pack, well three packs of these for £5. You get 25 wipes in each packet um, and I just thought these were pretty good for £5. Okay, and then also from the beauty outlet, the last thing I'm pretty sure I bought um, was a pack of nails for £1. These are the Royal Cosmetics, I think, um, glue on nails. These are the Street Chic Stiletto style, I guess. Um, and these were a pound. They look like this. They're very pointy. Um, and they are black, grey, and sort of like a French tip. Um, so, yeah, those were those. From Primark, I bought a lot in Primark. Um, I have a bag of stuff here. And from there... Oh, I forgot one thing from the beauty outlet. I also bought uh, a matte top coat from OPI. This is just the OPI matte top coat. Because um, I've wanted a matte top coat for a while. Um, and I saw this, so I picked it up. Okay, now moving on to Primark. Um, I bought quite a few nail stuff. So, fake nails, first of all, I bought one, two, uh, three, I bought three packs of fake nails, so these ones are the PS Marble Long Lasting in Moonstone, they look like that, very lovely, very pretty. Um, and then I bought P.S. Precious Jewelry Nails, Precious Jewel Nails, sorry, in Shine Bright, like a diamond. Uh, they just look like that, they're pink with gems on, uh, they're really nice. And then I bought um, the P.S. Square Leto Matte in Teal. They're really nice. Lovely blue shade. Kind of turquoise. Um, so yeah, I bought those as well. Right, 
Okay, my mum just texted me, but we're back on track. So, yeah, I bought the three packs of nails. Um, these ones were £1, and these ones were both £2 each. And now moving on, I also bought some nail glue. Um, this is the PS Brush On nail glue, because I thought that might be a little bit easier than the squeeze one. So I bought that and that was £1.50. Um, and then I also bought some nail gems for £2. They are just some little um, twisty container things of different nail gems. Um, and then I also bought some silver earrings some silver hoops because I have these but in gold and I thought when I have my silver studs in I want some ear some hoop earrings that I can wear rather than gold because obviously gold and silver do not go um so I just bought these they were one pound and then on my table over there I have six of the PS gel nail polishes and I wanted to complete my collection so I bought every single one of the Primark gel nail polishes that I didn't already have. Um, and it turned out to be six of them. So let's see which ones are here. Okay, so we have this one in the shade Chalk Chip, which is a brownie coloured one. We have Bubblegum, which is a bright pink. Really nice colour. I'm definitely going to be wearing that one a lot. And then we have the shade Army, which is a kind of khaki colour. Um, and then we have a, another bright pink in the shade Ruby Red. And then we have the white one in the shade white out which is just a plain white and then we have the last one is a really dark burgundy color um and this is in the shade wine and these are all one pound each um and that was oh no that wasn't it from primark so i thought that was it from primark it wasn't um i also bought a face mask this is the ps brightening gold modeling mask let me know if you want me to try this in a video i will definitely do that i'll probably do it anyway but you don't even have to let me know but let me know <laughs> um this comes with the mask obviously and also a spatula as well um which is cool so I'll probably try that in a video, probably next week. Um, so yeah, this was £2.50. And then I also bought um, summer shoes for college. Because if you don't know, I am 16, I'm going to college on Monday actually. It's Wednesday today. I'm going to college on Monday, so I needed to get some shoes, because I have none. Um, and I just bought these cute little black shoes with bows on. Um, these are Primark Wide Fit Extra Comfort something. Because, um, yeah, I have wide feet. Um, these were £6. And I just think they're really nice. I tried on so many different shoes and none of them really fit me properly. So I, I went for these. And then the last few things I bought from Primark were sport outfits. A matching set. I bought this sports bra. It's uh, kind of grey and it fades into a turquoisey green colour. Kind of like the top I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, this, let me just see the price. This was £6. Because I've been wanting a sports bra for ages. 
but couldn't find one that would one would fit me and two one that I liked so I found that one and I'm gonna try that out I don't think I'll be trying that in a video <laughs> um, and then I bought the matching top for it it's like a crop top but it's more like um, uh, what do you call it I don't know what to call it but it's like a workout top and this was also six pounds I just think it was really nice and it's the same pattern as the sports bra so that's that and then moving on moving on I went to one of those shops that sells all like um, random stuff like merchandise of Gavin and Stacey um, drawings of stuff and key rings with names on and stuff like that so I bought this key ring it's a heart key ring it's red and it's got my name on it um, it's like a diamond thing I used to have one of these but it broke um, so I bought a new one and I can't remember how much this was but I will find it and it will be here um, so yeah I bought that as well and then also from that shop I went crazy over this don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in the shop but um, I bought this Shawn Mendes wow it looks great in camera I bought this Shawn Mendes drawing um, for four ninety nine. Um, I just think it's great. <laughs> um, it's by Jonathan Wood, apparently. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was really nice. And if you don't know, I am obsessed with Sean Mendes. Um, so I will probably put this. Uh on my shelf or something um, or I may get a frame and hang it on my wall I just thought this was really nice so I picked it up and I'm gonna yeah put that somewhere getting towards the end now um, when I went to Barry I went into Nessa Slots the arcade that Ness worked at in Gavin and Stacey um, and I picked up a photocopy of a signed picture of the cast like this um, it's got pictures of pretty much every single person in the show um, and they signed it but it's, it's only a photocopy like it's obviously not an actual hard copy of the like picture that they signed but this cost me four pounds um, okay I'm pretty sure this is the last thing um, and I got it in B&M but I forgot to show it earlier um, like I said I'm obsessed with slime recently uh, and I bought the Nickelodeon slime DIY slime kit for ages 5 plus <laughs> of course it is um, but no I bought this um, just because I was gonna buy the Elmer's glue and Elmer's magical liquid but they didn't have the magical liquid in the store um, so I just bought this because this was the first thing I found that was remotely similar um, alongside obviously this um, so I just bought this thinking, okay, I can do this in a video. So I'm going to open this and actually see what's in it. In this you get two Nickelodeon clear glues. Um, they consist of 147 mils or 4.9 ounces of clear glue. And you also get two of these activators. Um, these are 57 mils or 1.9 ounces of activator. They look like this, they're quite cute and tiny. 
um, and you also get obviously the instructions um, and the ingredients and some glitter glues I think yeah I'm th pretty sure these are glitter glues that you can put in the slime so you get an orange one a blue one, a purple one, a green one, and a yellow one, which you can put in the slime. And these are uh, ten point five grams or zero point three seven ounces. I'm pretty sure that is it for this video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, um, and I will see you guys next Wednesday probably with that slime testing video or the um, face mask testing so I will see you guys next week bye guys thumbs up if you liked bye <laughs>